wow, I'm making a YouTube video on how to navigate YouTube, and you're watching it on YouTube now. So you already know at least a few things, but who knows? If you have trouble working your way around YouTube, you're going to find this video super helpful. Hi, my name is Rich, and if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, welcome. And if not, welcome back. I really love this community we're building of seniors and beginners on the way to becoming iPad ninjas. Seriously, we're growing thanks to you. And if you do find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. We're always putting out basic helpful tutorials on how to use your iPad and iPhone without all the frustration. In fact, in the description below are links to my recent iPhone series. Check it out. So I've been wanting to make this video for a while and it seems strange that I'm doing a YouTube tutorial on how to use YouTube on YouTube, but my 91 year old mom tells me she struggles on YouTube with one thing or another. So I thought I'd put this video together to not only help her, but to show you how you can whip around YouTube quickly and easily. In today's video, you're going to learn how to download and install and sign into the YouTube app. Believe me, getting the app is a little bit easier than using Safari. I'm going to show you how to subscribe to a channel, hopefully mine, how to unsubscribe from a channel, hopefully not mine, how to view a list of the channels you've subscribed to, how to view YouTube generated topics like news and sports, how to check your viewing history. Sometimes you want to go back and watch a video again and trying to find it can be a little bit tricky. So if you can just go back and take a look at what you've watched, then that would work out great. And that's called viewing your history. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm also going to show you how to search for a video and then how to quickly turn the volume up or down using Control Center. Way easier than using the little buttons on the side of the iPhone. Let's get started. You can watch YouTube on the Safari app if you want to, but I think it's just easier to use the actual YouTube app. And I want to show you how to download and install the YouTube app. Okay, the first thing you do is go to the App Store. <clears throat> you'll tap on that. And typically you'll come up with something like this, or maybe the App Store will look like this. But you want to find the YouTube app. So you'll tap on Search. Put your cursor up in the little search field like that. Type in YouTube and then hit the search button like that. And then here it is. So if you'll notice, I have a little cloud with an arrow coming down out of it. That's because I've installed YouTube before. Uh, but if you've not installed YouTube before, you're going to see the little word get. And you'll either tap on get or if you've installed it before, you'll tap on the little cloud like I'm going to do and then it will start installing. I'll show you in a minute but when you first open up the YouTube app it's going to ask you to sign in with your uh, Google email address, your Google account and you may not have a Google account and you don't have to have a Google account to use the app but it's handy if you do and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so it's downloaded and I'm going to tap on open. And it says, would the first question it'll ask is, would you like to send notifications? We'll say yes. But that's up to you. Okay, if you'll notice, it's actually logged me in and you'll see a little R up here in the right hand corner. That's for Rich. If you, I'm going to tap on that and just show you. If you don't have an account, uh, I'm going to click on Use YouTube Signed Out. It's going to look like this. And now you can go ahead and search and use YouTube however you want to search it. But um, it's good to have a YouTube account. So how you do that is you'll, it, and it may actually bring up a box for you to sign in. And it will look something like this. We're going to do sign in. And we're going to do add an account and I'm not going to go through all of this, but it says YouTube wants to use google.com to sign in and you can click continue. And from here you'll follow the instructions. If you don't have an account, you'll click create an account for myself. 
and then you'll type in your name and last name and you'll work your way through the two or three screens and then you'll have a Google account and it will log you in and I encourage you to do that. I'm not going to walk through all of that right now since I already have an account and I'll hit cancel. So now I can just tap in and now I'm signed back in. Now one of the first things I do to after I install the app is I change the background. If you notice it's white and if I'm watching it in the evening or even during the day it's so bright um, that I don't like that. I don't like looking at a flashlight. So if you tap on your name up here in the top or the initial for your name and you scroll down to settings you can see dark theme right here at the very top and if you just tap that it suddenly goes dark and now it's much much easier to look at so I encourage you to do that too so now you've got it installed and it's on your uh, iPad and when you want to watch it I'll find the app right here is the app you just tap on it and there you go you're in and that's how you download and install the YouTube app okay the next thing I want to talk to you about is how to subscribe to a channel so here you have along the bottom a number of different buttons you've got home explore you got a big plus sign here subscriptions and library if you tap on home it'll take you here and you'll see a number of different um, YouTube videos in here. Let's see, we've got one here for CNN. So we'll just tap on that. And you can, it'll usually come up with a commercial, then you can click skip ads. But if you'll notice, you'll see the word subscribe down here at the bottom. All you have to do is tap on that and subscribe. And now it says subscription added, and you've added that. Now, if you want to get back to what you were watching, if you notice that row of, you know, home and subscription and all that, those buttons are gone and you're in the middle of watching a YouTube video, but maybe you don't want to watch it anymore. So all you have to do is put your finger in the video and slide down once and it puts it in the corner and then you can hit the X and now you're back to the beginning. And that is how you subscribe to a channel. Now, if you want to search for a channel and subscribe for it, you can just tap the little spyglass and we'll type in my name again because I'm hoping you'll subscribe to my channel. And here you'll see some videos that I've put up over the past year. And you can just tap the subscribe button. And now you've subscribed to my channel. And then if you go back home, you're back to where you were in the beginning. Now, maybe you've got a bunch of channels you've subscribed to. And the question is, how do you find those? How do you get back and take a look at what you've subscribed to? Well, down at the bottom, there's the little subscriptions icon here. And if you tap on that, it'll open up your subscriptions. And here is where you've subscribed. So if you want to go back and watch my videos again, you can just tap on my name. And here are all of my videos and you can watch them again and if you want to go back home and you don't need to look at the subscriptions that the, the channels you subscribe to just tap the home button and that is how you view a list of the channels you've subscribed to now maybe you want to unsubscribe maybe you accidentally subscribe to something that you're not really all that interested in how do you unsubscribe well can go back to your subscriptions and let's tap on CNN and if you'll notice right here it says subscribed if you tap here you can unsubscribe and that's it and now it's taken it away it's very simple that is how you unsubscribe okay the next thing I want to show you is how to view YouTube generated topics so once again you pick up your iPad you tap on the YouTube icon and maybe some stuff comes up that you've already looked at that you're not all that interested in and you want to explore. Well, that's what this little explore button is for. If you tap on that, you'll see a list of different types of topics up at the top. So if you want to look at news, you can tap on news. 
and then you'll get a whole bunch of news stations and channels and videos related to current news. If you click the little back button <clears throat> and you want to go to sports, you can click on sports and you're going to get all of the sports, the most recent stuff. And that's a quick way to just sort of not be buried in the same set of videos all the time. And you can just come in here and choose whatever topic that you're interested in. And that's how you view YouTube generated topics. Okay, this next topic I want to talk to you about is how to view your history. Maybe you watched a video, you know, a week ago and there was something in there and you can't remember the name of the video, but you'd really just like to go back and find that video and watch it again. Well, you can do that pretty easily. Down at the bottom, again, you go to your YouTube home screen and you go to the library button on the far right and tap it. And then if you'll notice, you'll have a button up at the top left called history. And this is going to show you all of the videos that you've recently watched. So this will be where you find the video that you were looking for. You can just scroll through your videos until you find it. And that's really handy because I watch a lot of videos and you probably do too. And every now and then I come across something really good and I want to watch it again or I want to show my wife or something like that. So being able to go into my history and find it is a great way to do that. So that's how you dig up your viewing history. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to search for a video. So, you know, once again, you've pulled up um, all of the videos and you're here and you're wanting to look for a particular topic. Maybe you want to look for the Beatles get back that's a movie that's just come out since I've started making these videos and you hit search and here you go now you've got the official trailer for that particular movie for the Beatles and a whole bunch of little things a whole bunch of videos in here about that but you can do that with any topic you know you can search for anything if you just hit the X it can take you back to search again and you can type in anything you want how to film a YouTube video. We'll see what we get with that. And sure enough, you can get all kinds of uh, videos that'll come up based upon the search terms that you've put in. And that is just a handy, easy way to uh, search for a video on YouTube. Okay, the final tip I wanna give you is how to deal with the volume of watching a video. If you've got an iPad, the volume buttons are typically along the top and you're watching a video and you got to pick it up and figure out which one of those things to hit to turn the volume up or to turn the volume down. And it's always a pain and sometimes you open up a video and it just comes blaring out and you need to turn the volume down. If I tap so on that so you can see how that is. If you want to um, turn the volume down, the easiest way to do it is use control center. You just swipe down and here's the volume. That's all there is to it. So here's how it works. I've got a link in the description below. And this is a follow-up with five more tips on how to use your So that is how you change the volume quickly and easily on your iPad when you're watching a YouTube video. I know that's a lot of information, and if I went too fast, just re-watch the video. But I do hope you found some of these tips helpful. If you're new to the iPad, and the YouTube app in particular, sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming trying to learn all this stuff, but I promise you that the more you mess around on YouTube, the better you'll get at using the app. And if you subscribe to this channel, you now know how to come back here, find this video, and watch it when you need a refresher. Mom, I hope this helped you too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.